I tell you this. Big up. Because you have to be a messenger to your husband. On his body, there is a mark and a spot that has come up. Are you aware of it? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that mark and that spot that come on his body. Tell him if he does not get his life in order with God that he will not last his days. That mark will kill him. I saw that in the Supreme Spirit. So tell him that he needs you tell him that he needs to bow his knee to the agenda of God or he will not last out his days. Right now, oil comes upon you. Grace comes upon you for that. Sharas. Lassis. Gopodesh. Marahosis. That's been a breakthrough for her husband. Severim. Severis. Severis. Kahas. Come here, Nathan. Severis. In the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the spirit, Nathan, there is a realm of blessing that is on your life, not because of you, but I'm seeing a woman who really prays for you. Are you with me? She, this woman, really prays for you. And I'm seeing her before God for you to releasing blessings and anointings on you. So I am seeing that. And because of that intercessor and burden bearer in your life, and ways have been opened for you. Now the Lord is saying that you now have to rise up. Because if you rise up spiritually and totally, completely disassociate with two elements from the past, the Spirit of God tells me that he would lift you very high. Hmm. I'm telling you. Because you have an advantage. You have a serious person praying for you. And what you need to do, you need to dissociate yourself totally, completely, completely with some elements of the past and let the Spirit of God thoroughly circumcise your heart and your life and a particular anointing will come upon you which you have already got glimpses of. Because what I'm now seeing to show you that I know what I'm talking about not this other woman I am seeing the angel of the Lord is showing me that he has showed you yourself in the future. And he showed you yourself not just in a musical way, 
but he showed you yourself controlling assets. And you being wealthy and having assets and being able to utilize the assets to advance the agenda of God. But you are a man that had control of assets with a musical grace. That is what God has for you. But for that, there are personal barriers that you have to overcome. So what he has told me is that you have the ingredient of this destiny. You have the ingredient of this woman. Now it is only required you. Right now, Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost comes on you. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost comes on you. And a deep sanctification, a deep crucifixion of your flesh occurs in your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that's it. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing written. I'm seeing. And it says the condition for you moving into this season is this is the breaking of Nathan the breaking of Nathan just as your name signifies a great prophet so the days will come that your presence will bring blessings to people but for that to happen there has to be a breaking which the spirit of God begins today the breaking of you so that the, what's in your spirit, the fragrance of the grace on you would emerge in the name of Jesus. I declare this because God has mighty plans for you. Okay, what do you want to know? Okay, sure. Okay, good. Shahas. Lavra Osiris. Wow. Vreba kutuko shishishish. Ha! Lavra osirish. Hmm. Blisto vish. Rabo sove esedis. Lavro shivre esedis. Mambro osirish. Zivre his. Okay, I see that in the realm of the spirit. Your next steps in terms of your destiny is this. About, I just explain something. There was an allotment of time. And in this allotment of time that you had, you were confused. And because you are confused, you are confused between, and I'm going to put it this way, Barbados, America, Barbados, America, Barbados, America, and then that season. In that season, in the realm of the spirit, because there are two things God gave you. Number one, there's a pastoral knowledge in your life. And number two, you're supposed to be a training manager. You are supposed to be a director of training. And be a, one of the a top trainer in, in this region. That's something that you have. In fact, I see you in the realm of the spirit in being part of HR events where they have trainers, director of training from Massey, director of training from Goddard's, director of training of this, and you are on the stage with them are discussing, discussing training. So that is your caliber. That is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. That is what is in you. That is the corporate role that is inside of you. That's what you have. And you have it in this country and in the Caribbean. It is there for you. What happened is in that time, there was an allocation and there was a door that was going to open for you inside a company that would have given you that. But during that time, you missed it. And so it's gone now. But the Spirit of God is telling me that it is now coming back. 
I said it is now coming back. So these two things are coming back. So prepare yourself for this. Prepare yourself for this. Prepare yourself for this. For these two things. Prepare yourself for this. Lift up your hands. Hahas. Midash. Lahas. Be very focused. But in the realm of the spirit, what is there for you is to be one of the top trainers, director of training in the region that even speaks at national, international forums on training Caribbean people to become productive. Training Caribbean people to produce. That's an anointing that God put on you. And the second, a pastoral grace. And right now, a second chance anointing is coming on you. A second chance anointing is coming on you. A second chance anointing is coming to you. Right now, that's it. A second chance anointing. Right now, a second chance anointing. Second chance anointing. Second chance. Second chance anointing. Second chance anointing. Second chance. Yeah, second chance. That's it. Yes. That's it. That's it. The second chance anointing. That's it. That's it. Second chance. Second chance. Second chance. Lahas. Bear this. Second chance. Woo! Jesus. Next. Yes. What is it? Tell me. Financially and career. Okay. Okay. As you're talking to me, as you said that, um, the, I'm just seeing something again with the Spirit. Do, do, does your family or do you or your mother, is there any other asset that you have apart from the house? There's no other asset. So the asset you have is the asset of the house. And it's paid for. Okay. Sahazis. I'm seeing something in the name of the Spirit. Brahodosis. Love ikata shivri idesis. Hapahush. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I see. I see that. I see. I'm seeing a phone call coming. And either the phone call has happened or will happen. But the realm of the spirit is the realm of the future. So I'm seeing this phone call. So I've not been able to discern whether it's happened or not happened. The phone call is coming from a man. And I'm hearing his voice. And the phone call is about an opportunity and an actual um, role and a job and something that your skills can match. What I am sensing in my spirit is that place is like when my wife got a job selling property at the crane. She was selling property at the crane to meet me. And she asked the Lord, why am I in this job? The job was just to meet me. After she met me, she resigned from the job. I'm listening, I explain something to you. So what I'm sensing, so what I'm sensing, this is what I'm sensing. There is a door. Have you received a call like that? No. Okay, well, 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 well explain. An opportunity is going to come to you. It's going to come. Listen to me. This is the statue of the Lord. The opportunity of the Lord, sometimes it may seem below you. But the reason why, like my wife was like, why exactly did I go study? get all my degrees to be selling real estate at a shop in the crane. But it was to meet her beloved. <laughs> you understand that? Yes. It was to meet her game-changing husband. I really understand me. So, what I'm seeing in the spirit, this role that God's going to give you, and I am going to decree that it comes within 21 days. 
it's going to, when it comes to you, it's going to open doors. So what are your skills? Yes, and I, I also have a law degree, sir. You're, you're, you're accounting and law degrees. Yes, mm -hmm. So it's a very unusual combination. Yeah. So that's one of those accounting that has law degrees. So I'm telling you, you're going to get a call. This call, it comes, it may not be to the height that you want. But here's the thing, it's positioning you for something else. Are you with me? So this is what the anointing the oil of breakthrough. So right now, what I'm going to listen to is the oil of breakthrough. The oil of breakthrough. Jesus, that's oil of breakthrough. That's it. It's coming on now. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oil of breakthrough. Now. Now. Okay, let it go. Now. That's it. Now. Yeah, let it go. Now. 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 Jesus. Now. Jesus. The oil of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What heaven has for you. Is released to you now, oh, Jesus. That's right. Yes. So I just prophesied to her the, the, the actual formula. He's going to, he's going to, and then in that place, another door is going to open. You see that? It's going to follow that sequence. Ha. Bless the Lord. But you're going to get a call. And she's a very good worker in the realm of the spirit.